What's going on people? Ben here from Bateman Talks Tottenham, back with another video from my dad, Paul. Hello. Where today we'll be reacting to transfer dealings amongst the club and a new kit that launched yesterday. What do you think to the kit? Blue sleeves back, a bit of stripe at the bottom. Yeah, it's different. I think it'll be alright. We need to see it sort of on mass, but... Yeah, uh, sure, it looks quite smart. Yeah, I think it's one of the nicer ones, mm. definitely, in um, recent years. And this, I'm not a big fan of the prices of it, mm -hmm. but... I think it is a very nice kit and it's going to look quite nice for the players to wear and to see around the place, people wearing it. I think it'll be a very nice kit and hopefully it can be a kit to remember in years to come. Yes, and I guess the white kit will revert to European matches. Yeah, the white shorts will be mm. in the European games and we'll be back to blue shorts in the Premier League, which I much prefer. I think it looked mm. a bit weird having it all the time and I don't know, it sounds like a small detail, but the white shorts in Europe just adds a bit of difference and a bit different vibe I think yeah. to the games and right. personally I think is better um, but in terms of transfers Spurs announced today that Ivan Perisic, Eric Dyer, Jaffet Tanganga and Ryan Sessegnon have all left the club with their contracts expiring. I think Dyer and Perisic we definitely knew was going to happen. Mm. Perisic with that big injury he went to Croatia and his age. It's a shame though because he started the season the I think mean, only games he played, he started quite well, didn't he? Yeah, very well. And was quite yeah. good in the Conte season going forward. Yeah. So it's a shame. Well, I think it was always going to happen, but it does yeah. mean that there's space to be signing attackers, isn't it? We yeah. need to get some players in. Mm. Um, but Perisic had some great moments for the club. Look back to our first Champions League game in a couple of years. He got the two assists for Richarlison to score that game against Marseille that we were there. Mm. Um also got an assist in the Sheffield United game last season from a corner where we won late on. So he's had some big moments in the mm. Spurs shirt, Perisic. Yeah, he has. And shame to see him go, but I can't imagine he'll be playing for many more years in his career. No. And we wish him the best of luck. And Eric Dyer, a player who's been at the club for mm. a long, long, long time. And he's off at Bayern Munich, obviously, and mm. played quite well for them at times, didn't he? Yes, he has. Um, yes. And Jaffa Tanganga also going, so that's another defender. Yeah, that's um, it's a shame because he had a lot of promise a mm. few years ago. And, I think uh, everyone will remember his debut against Liverpool. Yeah, he, he was exceptionally good that, that day. And against um, Man City a couple of times. And he seems to have played very well for Millwall. Yeah, so. yeah. Yeah, I think it's maybe one he just, just wants to move on in his career. Mm. And I think we'll see him back at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium in the future, but mm. playing for somebody else because I think he can be a brilliant player. And yeah, like you said, we've seen some great moments under him, particularly his debut, I remember, against Liverpool, clearance off the line. Mm. Man City played quite well against Sterling in the win under Nuno. So, yeah, it's a shame to see him go. Yeah. One of our own. But we move on. And then finally, Ryan Sessignon has also left the club. Yeah. A player that we signed in that, what turned out to be not great summer window of mm. Lo Celso and Dombele. Sessegnon and I can't remember who the other player was now off the top of my head Jack Clark I think yeah. it was what seemed to now have been a bit of a disaster summer window that yeah it feels very sorry for him you know, he's had so many injuries yeah and um, surgeries yeah. on both hamstrings clearly a talented player but never really had the run of games yeah to um, get into what he shows what he can every do. time he had a couple of games he picked up another injury didn't he mm. so I think it's probably the best for all parties we can't really afford to be paying the wages unfortunately mm. of a player that isn't very fit but it would have been nice to maybe see him have a go. But yeah. then he's not going to get in over Destiny or Mickey no. playing left back. So no. there's not much point for his sake st sticking around either. Yeah. So you'd like to hope he can get a club at maybe lower end of the Premier League. You'd hope maybe. Yeah. It depends if someone's going to take a punt on his injuries. Mm. Um, Ipswich, could they get him as a potential Leaf Davis backup? Who mm. knows? A club, just a club that comes to mind. Somebody that maybe could have mm. another backup left back. Ipswich, maybe. Would they be willing to take a punt on him? Don't know. It's yeah. going to be very difficult for any club, too, with his injuries. But he showed at Fulham that he can be a great player on mm. his day. Yeah. So hopefully, for his sake, that he can get his career back yeah. on track, really. Absolutely. And in terms of incomings, a bit quiet. There have been some Eze links a little bit. And also the usual Conor Gallagher links of today. Mm. The Daily Mail reporting that Spurs are going for him again. Which is something I think we've heard for well over a year now. Yeah. That might finally happen. And 
I think he'd be a good player for us. Yeah, he would. But um, and and clearly wants him. Yes, he does. But uh, you know, he's got to want to come, and I'm not sure he does want to. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> time will only tell, really, mm. won't it? Mm. Well, thank you all for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, come, come on, you Spurs! Spurs.